I'm Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. Today I'm going to go through the Dave Matthews Band song, Belly Belly Nice. Uh, this song employs a lot of great, hand, great right hand techniques. A lot of this going on. Um, the left hand is uh, very percussive, so uh, I'm going to, have to break it down for you. Do some close-ups of the neck, the left and right hand. The whole thing here is getting the right hand technique together. Great technique to have, great for a lot of different styles of music. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to play Belly Belly Nice by the Dave Matthews Band. Thanks for joining us at GuitarReferenceGuide.com. The main riff and the verse. Now, the main thing to get here is your when you're strumming, lots of times you're going to be strumming through all the strings, but only one of them is going to be sounding. So learning how to mute the other strings, you just lightly turn your fingers um, so when you're playing the string that you're after, you're arching it and you're kind of touching the other strings, but you're not holding them down. So the first part here would be you strum down on the A note, fifth fret of the low E string. Pinky is going to be on the 7th fret of the uh, D string. You're going to strum through that. Sound like that. Down, down. Down, down, down. Now, your first finger here is going to be barring the uh, G string and the B string at the 5th fret, like that. So we're going to go down, 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 up. And the down, up is going to be real quick. Down, up. And the up is going to be back on the seventh fret of the D string. One more time. Okay, so now we're going to take it to the next step. So that's uh, the first one. And then we come with an upstroke. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, up. Now, there was another little down I did, and this is to keep this right hand going. You're kind of always doing this but only playing on certain notes. Down, 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 up, down. Even though you're not hearing that, it's a mute. Then back up. Down, 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 up, down, mute. Down, 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 up, mute, up. And then now the next part is going to change a little bit. We're going to go down, down, mute. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, up. And then, then an upstroke here. And then this is going to be a downstroke for this little riff. This is going to be down at the seventh fret, the G string and the B string, and then up on the fifth fret of the G string, B string and the G string, the fifth fret. So second riff. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. And then now we're going to do the first part of that lick again. Now we move up to the, the third fret. And this is basically just going to be an octave. You're going to be playing this note, the third fret of the low E string, fifth fret of the D string. So that'll sound like this. Slow. So this is going to be down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up on the fifth fret. Down, so uh, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So this is always going like this. Down, up, up, down, up. So now through that whole part, really slow. Sometimes he'll go, and that's going to be down, up, down on just this note, and just up on this note on the seventh fret of the um, B string. And then back down. But usually it's just. That's the main uh, verse and the uh, the riff. 
For the chorus, we're going to put our third finger on the 7th fret of the low E string. Pinky is going to go on the 7th fret of the G string. Now, this is going to be a strumming pattern where you're just constantly going up and down. So the right hand is constantly moving and accenting uh, certain beats. So the first chord is here. Next chord, you're going to put your first finger on the um, fifth fret of the A string. Index finger or second finger is going to go on the fifth fret of the low E string. And then you're back to the third finger here. Sometimes he uses his second finger to go to the fifth, fifth fret here, sometimes he uses his index. One more time. And you let the other strings ring out. Straight down ups. Index finger there. This time I'll do it with my second finger. And so that would be um, the chorus. Now, when he comes out of the chorus to go into the bridge, um, it's, it all starts the same. And when he comes up to this note, he's going to be going back and forth. He's going to play pinky on the seventh fret and then third finger on the sixth fret. It's going to sound like this. And that's going to bring us into the bridge. That's the transition. So one more time, transition into the bridge. Here we go. Then we're going to move into the bridge. Right after that, we're going to do a single note line that's going to go from the 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, and then we're going to be at the 8th fret playing a 5 chord. And that brings us into the bridge. So that section starts here. Now, uh, back, same thing when I was talking about the, um, the intro verse. A lot of the strumming, lots of times you're going to hear him strumming all the strings, but you don't hear all the, the strings, you just hear that one note. And here, um, that's very, uh, very prevalent. Um, so you're going to strum. One more time. Down, up, 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 down, up. And then you're going to be on the um, eighth fret, the low E string, playing a C5 chord. One more time. Down, up, 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 down, up. And then you're going to be on the eighth fret. The bridge is going to sound like this. We're going to have first finger on the third fret of the um, low E string, third finger on the 10th fret of the A string. And then your index finger is going to go on the 7th fret of the low E string. Pinky is going to go stay on the 10th um, fret of the A string. Actually, you should start with your pinky. First finger moves over. You move the whole chord up to a B flat 5 chord, index finger 6th fret, pinky on the 8th fret. And then you're going to put your 3rd finger on the 8th um, fret, pinky is going to stay on the 8th fret. And then 2nd finger is going to come to the 7th fret of the A string, so that's going to sound like that. 3rd finger stays, 2nd finger moves over. So one more time. Some of the other strings ring out, but not that much. And then he has those hits at the end. So uh, one more time, I'm going to play through the transition from the chorus into the bridge. Here we go. Here we 
we go. Let's transition. Those last hits are going to be just, it's just an A octave, index finger on the 5th fret of the low E string, 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the D string. And there you're going to be muting all the other strings and just hitting 5th fret, 7th fret. And for the right hand, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as what we were doing over the, uh, the chorus. Straight. Start with a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you want to start with a down, and then you're going to go to uh, another down, and then it's going to be all um, straight down, up, sixteenth notes. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Practice throwing in little accents, in other words, playing a little bit louder on certain beats. That's really good exercise. So with the right hand, 